All right, this is a talker of a topic. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, Carrie McBeth is with us. She's an etiquette and soft skills trainer. We're talking about cell phone etiquette. And we said before the break how to not be a digital delinquent, but we also ran a story that I'm still stuck on that said some college kids are spending nine hours a day on the phone. So it's starting to it's starting to cross that line into like into is it fair to say addiction? I don't know. Is that That's a fair interesting. Word? Uh, just seeing this uh, story, uh, I believe that there is definitely addiction, probably more so along our millennial generation. We right. definitely see them attached to their phones a lot more frequently um, than say our baby boomers. <laughs> uh, but well, I was we're pretty bad too, right? I mean. Well, when you're in the media, you guys are constantly on. You've got to be figuring out what is going on, right. mm -hmm. um, but also realizing that that is your, um, you know, that is your industry, and that's what goes along with the industry. You know, Carrie. Yesterday we did a story. The police were saying they've ticketed more people in the same time period over last year. Now the fines are up on distracted driving. So we don't even leave our phones alone in the car. <laughs> it's really, <laughs> it's bad. But there are times when we should. You're saying there's an etiquette around it, right? There is. Um, everything is about mindfulness. It's not rules of you should and shouldn't do this. It's being mindful to the right. people around you right. yes. and um, interesting with the the cell phone that is actually considered the number one faux pas in an Ipsos survey of mobile etiquette that is uh, the number one thing that people just dislike are people texting yeah. and driving texting and driving texting and driving yeah. when huge. you look in the rear view behind you and you can tell the person behind you is using <laughs> it that that bugs me a little yeah. bit right mm -hmm. okay so let's talk about um, let's go through some of the kind of like the do's and don'ts at the table. Sure. Is this, when you say at the mm. table, do you mean dinner table at home or at a restaurant or? Well, there's, I mean, there's two with that. First of all, if you're at a restaurant, you're entertaining clients. Um, if you're out with friends, put it away. Um, it's very easy for you to pick it up, to want to take a look. If you see it, it, it pops up. It's just, it's human nature. You're going to want to take a look. But the person in front of you is the person that you're supposed to be putting all of your attention <laughs> towards. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So you want to engage with them, not with the phone. So put it away. Now, that being said, there there are times when it is okay. So for example, if you want to show a picture of your children or your dog, or you want to take a picture of the person you're with, or if you're questioning something and you want to Google, it's okay. But it's having the respect to say, do you mind if I just take a look at this quickly? Because right. you're still saying that yeah. you're the most important thing to me. So if I'm out for dinner with Barry and I need to check my work phone for something, should I say to him, do you, I, need, I have to check I would my demand phone? that you say that because <laughs> if you uh, started checking your phone, I would just walk out. You and that happens, Mary. It does. People actually get very up. frustrated yeah. with individuals. Um, you know, I've, I've been across from people before, and, and it happens, and I've, I've been actually guilty of it myself. Um, but you really are just saying this is more important than, right, than you. Right, right. Yeah. I've heard people are doing this in job interviews and stuff. It's just like, what is going you just, on? Yeah, yes. that's the hardest that part, because it's hard that? not to have your, uh, to, for me, I always like my phone on the table just because... You, you know, want to see it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a bigger one, so putting it in your pocket. For a woman, maybe it's easier to throw it in your purse or something, but you know, you put it down on a chair or something, you might forget it, or you know, so you want to have it there. But you're right, it is distracting. You know what you need? You need a purse, buddy. That's what you need. A man purse, that's <laughs> right. Cell the phones purse. in the restroom, like taking mm -hmm. the phone with you to the bathroom. Doing your business while you're doing your business. This one should be a no-brainer, right. but it fascinates me um, how many people don't. First and foremost, the bathroom is full of germs. Yeah. So why you would want to have your cell phone in there um, is beyond me. Uh, when that cell phone leaves, it's a walking germ. Yeah. It's going it's out flagged. there with you. It's Should hitching, it's hitching a, a ride. I was in a bathroom texting on a, I was on a, had been set up on a blind date and I was updating the gal who had set us up saying, Oh wow, that's cuter than oh, I thought he was. Okay, better than, better than get me out of here. So that, well, that's different. That's an emergency. Would, that's okay. Just that no, one still, time. you really just keep it's it like, out no, of the bathroom. <laughs> and also, Do especially the on sink. the phone, you don't want the person on the other end no, listening okay. to the sounds of the oh, washroom. No, that's no. another no, thing. No, 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 no phone calls from the no, bathroom. No, no phone calls. No, no I think that's uh, uh, public transportation. This, this one is something that I'd, I, especially um, airport lounges. Man, everybody's talking at full volume on their phones about their business dealings. Uh, that's annoying that to me. Is the people who can't uh, do the volume control. Yeah, it's called sell yell. And yes. uh, you don't want to be guilty of the cell yell. Um, what people don't understand is, is that you actually don't have to speak any louder. No. We're not getting the receiving of our own voice in the telephone as we would with a traditional phone. So people talk louder. There's outside uh, distractions, you know, other people, traffic, weather, whatever yeah. it is. So they have a tendency to speak louder. Right. But especially when you're commuting, you've got to show some respect for those around you that maybe not everybody wants to know about what's going on in your life. And also, if you're speaking business, 
you've got to think that that can be very private Absolutely. and confidential information. And as a client or a potential client even, I would not want the individual that I am with to be speaking my private or personal matters yeah. out in front of everybody. No, I agree. Like I say, I'm always surprised at the amount of kind of like business well, talk that's going on. Well, I'll say this. A lot of people who, uh, who are talking loudly and maybe profanely loud, young kids, they don't, they don't care about their etiquette, I don't think, at the best of times anyway, right? So that's unfortunate. There's not much you can do. But them young. Yeah, you can't. Teach yeah, them young. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, that's, that's the worst. You know, you're in a family situation and some, some kid is, f you know, F-bombing on his yeah. cell phone. Yeah, yeah. So. Hopefully they grow out of that at some point. We're, we're out of time right now. I know we have a few more to go through, so I'm hoping that you're going to come back and continue to keep us in line. It's a love great that. topic. It's probably <laughs> one of my number one. we're the better one. for it now. Now you we know the better if for we're it. going for dinner, you better put that cell phone away. we got to do um, one on dating, man. We've got to do, do one on, on the dating. dating. <laughs> the cell phone's on the date. Is there a website that we just put up and I missed it? Sorry, there it is. At Carrie McBeth. That's, uh, that's you on Twitter, I assume. And CarrieMcBeth.com yes, is your website. Absolutely. There's some more hints and tips on uh, courteous behavior, for sure. We'll come back. Let's do the Thank dating you. one next time. <laughs> absolutely. Thanks, Carrie.